All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and start with yours. I decided to redo yours because I, I had to delete a lot of files out. So you guys have codependency and calling in your soulmate. Okay, let's see what this is. I remember your video from when I posted it up because I'm a rising Sagittarius. So it was something about their loss, somebody's loss, because now you guys have somebody else here. Let's see what this is. Codependency, calling in your soulmate. So <clears throat> I'm getting that you guys are going through a transition right now, leaving one relationship and starting a whole new one. Whether it has started yet or not, um, maybe this is someone just came in your life, but... Maybe it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Libra, or an Aquarius. But I feel like you guys are still one foot in, one foot out. But, you know, that's the codependency part of it. I think you guys have a risk that you guys need to take. But not sure how to take this new risk. But it is going to be your soulmate. Okay. How you guys... Are seeing yourself right now as the hangman. Them, maybe they're the ones in this long-term commitment already. If not, how they're seeing themselves is they want this with you guys. They want this to go to like you know a whole nother level. They want that long-term commitment, a lot of sexual intimacy, physical attraction, a lot of communications, but there's still a lot of anxiety behind all of this. <clears throat> I'm going to leave those out just to see what's going on here. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, this could be with regarding a Taurus or you guys are doing something very untraditional here. Higher than as your overall theme. Okay, but incidents reverse. So let me clarify all this, Sagittarius. I do see codependency here. There is the card of karma. You guys have the Ten of Swords, the Hangman. These are a lot of cards that are showing me you're staying stagnant. You're not really moving forward. And plus, your partner side here has the Virgo Hermit. So, a lot of things not moving forward. Now they have the Tower. And here is a new beginning. And you guys, okay, are showing up as the higher fin. And movement forward will be chariot and there's judgment. Wow, you guys are definitely Sagittarius. I think for the while, uh, for a while, I've been saying you guys are starting on a new beginning and closing the old, leaving behind you know the old series. Whether this be volumes, whether these be sequels, this is like a whole new different book now. If you guys haven't experienced it yet. It will be in the month of December for sure. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Right now, you guys are trying to make a... Um, it's like, you know, you're sweeping, like, all the dust under the broom. Like, it's just, it's like, you're sweeping the dust under the broom. That didn't even make sense. But I'm saying, like, you know, you're getting rid of all this old and cleaning it out. Because how you how you guys are currently seeing yourself right now is there's a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. There's a whole new beginning. Um, Hierophant is spiritual teaching. So this is like, you know, you have not have you only suffered. There's something you guys can't deny it. There's something that, you know, kind of enlightened you in some kind of way. 
If not, this is something regarding marriage. Hierophant also means marriage, commitment, long term. Um, the reason why you can't really let go, even though it says karma and it's reversed, because this was your wish come true. If not, with it reversed, this really means that, um, you know, you're letting go of this old now. There is someone new here. And it is your wish come true. You guys, after all, do have codependency calling in your soulmate. <clears throat> so, move away. There's some secrets hidden, something that's hidden here, hidden emotions, hidden intentions on your behalf, Sagittarius. On your partner's side, they have here, um, you know, confusion. But fog is lifting. I feel like they want this new beginning with you guys. What is stirring up all of this? Like, if you haven't heard from them and they haven't made a decision or, or anything yet... Something here has happened behind all of this is why they just went from, you know, not taking any actions to take to somehow now wanting that, like, there's a spark to make them want to, some kind of catalyst just happen to kind of, like, get them going. It's like a spark under their butt to make a decision or to get things going and moving. They're thinking intentions and desires. Um, make a head over heart decision about somebody because they really want to nurture this relationship. They see somebody as hot, sexy, you know, very loving, very nurturing, very abundant, very supportive, uh, very caring, very faithful, very loyal, possibly with kids. But they have to make a head over heart decision. Not they're dealing with an Aries, Taurus, or a Libra. <clears throat> Why you guys are doing all of this? You have love for somebody, but you're very confused. You guys are going after what you guys want, and you guys will get it. It's worth holding on to, calling in your soulmate. Your soulmate is arriving very slowly. It might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If you guys are waiting for resolutions or, you know, to resolve some kind of conflict, it's happening. It's worth holding on to. Don't leave this relationship. I see it going both ways. If you guys are in the worst, your relation is crumbling apart, don't leave it yet. Um, it's going to be your wish come true. Karma in the reverse. But... If you guys are starting an old relationship and don't know because there's somebody else new, there's going to be an offer rejected. Okay. How are your partners seeing this situation? Why I say that? They have two paths, two roads, two people here, two options. One of them is going to turn into a commitment. This is the marriage card. There's going to be a victory because there's a lot of passion for one of them. It's all fire here. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Perseverance, victory, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Third party situation is not going to work out. Someone's going to be feeling left out in the cold, sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret. On your side, you're leaving the troubles behind, charging forward, and starting a new passionate beginning. It will be a success. Them, commitment is yours. Judgment, final decision will be made. Sagittarius, I really hope this reading helped. I wish you guys have a great Thanksgiving, my archers, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.